Don't. Okay, so I had about 24 hours to custom code a version of Wordle for Tim the Tatman that he could actually beat. Let me explain. All right, so I'm sure most of you are familiar with Wordle at this point. You know, it's that game where people try to guess a five letter word in a certain amount of tries, and then once they finally guess that word, they just spam it in emoji form all over your Twitter timeline. That game, yeah. All right, well recently Tim the Tatman's been playing it and it has been an experience. A do, a do, a doist? I don't think that's a word. Um, go. Is. Moist? Joist. Oh my god! A joist! Dude! I got it! What the f Moist! Moist! Oh my god, did I fucking write that? Dude! Dude! What? Dude, I, dude, I swear to God, I think I put that in. Did I put that in? But I think I read it wrong. Oh my God. Uh, Whips reached out to me, basically asking me if we could make like a food version of Wordle that Tim could actually beat because well, Tim likes food. Of course, not wanting to back down from a challenge, I said yes, and I coded Foodle. It's basically a duplicate of Wordle, but it's entirely food themed. So I don't wanna bore you, I don't wanna show you the code and everything, because I know that people don't. Why? Of course I'm gonna show you the code. You I landed in my chair way too hard. Uh, here, let me, let me show you. Okay, so first we had to make the keyboard, and this was really simple. It's just this little chunk of code right here that's a bunch of keys, and they're data keys, and they just take in a user input, and then when they are pressed, it comes up on the grid, just like that. I even took into account typing. So if you want to type something in, it'll show up on the grid too, just for a better user experience. And uh, that's really all there is to it. That is like one third of Foodle done. Okay, so now we had to make the actual game. That's this whole middle part with the logic and everything popping up and knowing when you type in a key, it'll change the letters and the colors and all that stuff. All we had to do for this part was make a function which creates a grid of squares and then make them look pretty and then map out the user's guess so it's on the right row and then make some flippy animations to reveal the right and wrong letters of the code, code the logic for the colors that show up on the keyboard, keep track of whether or not the user guesses it correctly. If they do guess it correctly, we do a fun animation. If they don't, it shakes the board. If the word doesn't exist, it also shakes the board. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't. Okay, Whips is telling me to try this other thing that Rillo made, it's called Foodle. Oh, this literally looks exactly like it, Rillo. So this is only food terms? And he's calling it Foodle, all right? I should be able to get this pretty easy. Hey, hey what's this top left here? Foodle. Wordle for fat asses. You, you serious? Is Rillo for real here, bro? All right, well, actually, off that other one where I saw the word wheat, I'm going to start with wheat. Okay, we got a T. Oh, dude, donut. Donut? Imagine I get this right there. This would actually be so funny. I'd ever be like, of course, this fat ass can get food words fast. Damn. Okay, there is a U wrong spot. All right. I don't know if there's an S, and I don't know if there's a C. So this could actually be kind of value. Okay. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I got them all. Wait, wait. C U R S T. Oh, I got it. Crust, bro. W. There we go, baby. I'm one for one. Of course, I do the food one well, huh? I'm about to. I'm about to do one more. I'm about to do one more here. Uh, I'm gonna start with. I'm gonna start with toast. What? I'm gonna kind of throw something complete curveball here. Ready? Crunch. Wait. Uh, uh, crumb. Of course. Yep. Yeah. This is good, right? C R U M B. These are all different. There's got to be one of them in this, right? Got to be. Hey, Rillo, Rillo, are you serious here, bro? Hey, Rillo, what do you mean crumb is not a word, bro? Go tell that to Victor, okay? From Harry Potter. Is crumb a food item? Yes, I will eat a crumb, whips. Hey, whips, no fucking way you're trying to defend Rillo here, bro, okay? A crumb I will eat, okay? Yes. Is a crumb a food item? Serious? Where do you think a crumb comes from, whips? Let's see that fruit. Ooh, we're down bad right now. Why, why can't I think of any food words with a U in it right now, bro? Wait, lunch. L-U-N-C-H. I'm about to eat lunch, and I'm about to eat it myself. Whoa! Big value on the foodle, baby! Okay, okay, this is huge. Okay, I got this, bro. Ain't no way I'm losing. E-U-Y-U-U-U. Punch, bro. Punch? Got it. I can't lie. This is a lot easier because I know it's food related. I, 
I know it's for like related to food, so I'm kind of like locked in. So shout out to Rillo for making that, by the way, because it's like I can't really cheat on that unless I look at chat, which I, I, I only looked the first one a little bit. I told myself and I didn't let myself the second time, but that that's a little bit of a it's like food only. So it kind of like like compared to Wordle where it's like, yeah, sky's the limit food. It's like more locked in. So I'm a little better at that. Oh, hey, thanks Rillo for making that, man. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We've been doing a lot of coding related content on the channel recently and people have seemed to be loving it. So uh, definitely gonna keep that up. We have a cool getting over it motion control project coming up on the channel. So if you wanna stick around for that, feel free to subscribe. It means a lot to me, but otherwise I will see you guys in the next. Oh, and I forgot to mention, if you wanna try Food Allout, it's down in the description. It's just a Rillo.tv and I'm gonna keep it up for as long as people are playing it. So uh, I've got some other projects in the works for that too. All right, enjoy, later.